Pascal Siakam's averaging 26 points per game in March, Precious Achua hit four threes in 11 minutes, while Jimmy Butler of the Heat has hit four threes all month. Montreal native Chris Boucher continues to move up the ranks amidst the all-time great Raptors bench scores. In this video, you'll see an in-depth analysis on why teams can't stop the only Canadian team, and whether or not this Raptors squad feels anything like the roster in which fans in the six witnessed back in 2019. Right before that, 90.7% of you watching right now aren't subscribed, so if you're new and interested in basketball, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss a single NBA hot take, prediction, or story on a daily basis. Also, leave a thumbs up. It takes a few seconds and makes a massive difference. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter or hit me up at dflowhoops, and I'll follow you back. Link is down below in the description for those two platforms. In a crucial W over a team directly above them in the standings at the time in the Cleveland Cavaliers, Pascal Siakam finished with 35 points, 5 rebounds, 6 assists on 12 for 20 shooting from the field, and 6 for 7 from 3 point range, putting him ahead of DeMar DeRozan for total 35 and 5 games in a Toronto Raptors uniform. While Pascal displayed the spicy confidence we witnessed when he was the team's Robin next to Kawhi Leonard, helping them fly the first NBA championship banner north of the border two years ago. The vamped work ethic, fundamentally sound footwork and shooting mechanics, plus his ability to read defenses look completely different for Siakam. Having said that, the beastly speed, long strides in transition and athleticism are still at their peak, with Siakam in the prime of his career about to turn 28. Watch how Spicy outruns three Cavs players in transition and while a young Siakam may have rushed it up and got blocked by Levert, the veteran version of Pascal knows to dunk it instead of lay it in as he plants his feet and throws down a two-handed jam. In terms of the half court, on this possession, Siakam displays his improved handle with his left, bodies off a Coro, yet keeps his balance and steps through to drop it off to Boucher for a wide open throwdown. Whether it's shovel passes down low like that one, kickouts after drives, or swings to the open shooter, Pascal's improved facilitating means everything to the rhythm of Toronto's offense. That passing also forces opposing game plans to play Siakam straight up, as opposed to double teaming. The steady passing improvement from Pascal has been incredible to witness throughout the years as a Raptor fan, as Siakam's learned how to operate against the world's toughest caliber defenses. As a rookie, Siakam averaged just 0.3 dimes per night, but that's annually improved to the point where the six-year pro out of New Mexico State is now averaging over five assists per game. In terms of his scoring, the mix of typically effective drives, followed by his array of finishes from Euro steps and most often Beyblade-esque elusive spins, combined with the evidently improved three-point stroke, forces defenses to pick their poison. Pascal's efficiency has drastically improved from every area, from three to 10 feet, Siakam's 48% mark is a 6% improvement from last season and a career high. Additionally, Spice is posting a career best 37.3% clip from three point range. This improvement for Siakam in terms of his playmaking and ability to pick his spots has been the biggest reason for Toronto, both having won eight of their last 10 games and resembling a nightmare of a first round opponent for a higher seed. In terms of Toronto's last game, the Raptors steamrolled what's left of the Indiana Pacers on Thursday night but it didn't happen with much fanfare. The Raptors were dominating 66-38, with around four minutes left in the second quarter when the game had to be stopped due to an in-arena speaker catching fire. Being at the game, I, along with every other fan, was forced to evacuate the building, and I can't lie, catching a 20-plus minute subway ride home midway through the second quarter was definitely rough, but I do have tickets to the next two home games, so I'm not too worried. The delay lasted for about an hour. Thankfully, I was home more than in time to watch the game on TV, and the Raptors still cruised to a beastly 131-91 win. The W, along with the Cleveland Cavaliers' loss to the Chicago Bulls, bumped the Raptors into the number six seed, AKA a guaranteed spot in the first round, if they hold on to the position, of course. Before that delay, Precious Achua seemed like he was on his way to dropping 40, if not 50 points. The second year pro out of Memphis and the former Miami Heat player was on fire, notching 16 points on four for four shooting from deep range up until the stoppage. While the outing as a whole was a sign of serious progression, it is a shame that Achua finished with just 18 points, six boards and four dimes. However, he did tie his career high in assists. Still, after not attempting a single three in Coach Eric Spolstra's system throughout his rookie year in Miami, 
Nick Nurse has allowed Precious to attempt two three-pointers per game on the year overall and four triples each night in March. To a Chua's credit, he's knocking down 36% of those shots in 2021-22 overall and an elite 40% of them this month. He doesn't have the volume to qualify, but Achua's deep range efficiency would rank him just ahead of the Joker Nikola Jokic as the fourth best three-point shooting five-man in the association. The potential for Toronto's 22-year-old backup five-man can't be described as anything else other than precious. Scotty Barnes has rightfully gotten all the attention for being the Rookie of the Year favorite. Another Raps video featuring a film room breakdown on Barnes is on its way, but very few people have taken into account the sophomore in Achua's development in year two of his career. Precious has a nine-foot standing reach and a seven-foot-two wingspan with guard-esque shooting chops and even a handle off the dribble, which like Scotty is at the small forward, make Achua the Raptors' future at the center spot. After getting his second summer of progression under his belt, look for Precious to elevate into a top 7 to 10 center at the very least. Post game on Saturday night, when asked about his growth as a shooter, Achua indicated that it was a product of work and the belief of his teammates and coaches, saying, I'm in a situation where I put a lot of work in, obviously on all parts of my game, my teammates and the coaching staff. They definitely told me whenever I'm free, I gotta shoot the ball. Precious also spoke on a possession earlier in the game in which he passed up a three-pointer, leading Fred Van Vliet and the Raptors staff to tell him to shoot, adding that the level of trust those moments display is the ultimate confidence boost, saying it's a lot of confidence, it's a lot of trust, it gives the player a different type of confidence to take those types of shots, you're not thinking about anything else, you're just in rhythm, you feel good about those shots, everyone else, your teammates, coaching staff, they feel good about those shots, end quote. The offensive game plan against the Pacers was simple for Toronto and like it goes for most outings, which is taking advantage of their size by getting to the bucket at will. Pascal Siakam and OG Ananobi took turns getting into the paint. Even Fred Van Vliet backed down his man for a sweeping hook shot. Pascal finished with 23 points, 7 boards, and 6 dimes. Ananobi added 16 points, with most of his damage being done in the first quarter. Scotty Barnes added 19 points and 7 dimes, picking up the slack after the stoppage. Meanwhile, Van Vliet came back in street clothes after the game resumed, as the team took a smart approach in resting his knee. Moving on to our next segment, covering Chris Boucher. Many expected to see a breakout year from the spry, soon-to-be 30-year-old Chris following his career year in 2021. While Boucher has had a down year in terms of his points per game and three-point consistency, he has done an outstanding job as a rim protector all year. With a 7'4 wingspan, the lateral quickness of a wing player, and excellent defensive timing, along with the ability to space the floor with a three-point shot on the other end, Boucher's the perfect big man for the modern NBA. Chris has turned it on this month, averaging a massive 11 points per game in March. He only had six against the LA Lakers on the 18th, but in that outing, he moved past Norman Powell for the third most bench points in franchise history, and the Montreal native is just a few hundred points away from passing Patrick Patterson and the former dunk champion Terrence Ross and becoming the Raptors bench GOAT. From a Cy and Bobby Webster's team overall, the acquisitions of a playmaking, polished finishing, and at times stretch three-point shooter in Thaddeus Young has helped the flow of the offense. Young should have a great influence on the development of Scotty Barnes, who can learn from what Thaddeus has done right and wrong throughout his long NBA career. Then there's Armani Brooks, who was waived by the Houston Rockets but has found a home in Toronto, as the Raps have a 7-2 record when the 23-year-old plays. With eight games left against the Celtics, Timberwolves, Magic, Heat, Hawks, 76ers, Rockets, and Knicks, what's Toronto's record over that span? Best answer down below in the comments gets next video shout out. Top five commenters by June 21st receive free NBA merchandise this summer, so leave your take on today's question to compete in Community Speaks. Today's Speaks winners are TJ Views from my Celtics video and Jared Malazzo from my Sixers video. Pause to read every answer from the best hoop stock community on YouTube. I hope you have a great one. Deep low signing off.